What's going on everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about body art and or body modification and my perspective of that as a Christian. I've already mentioned it before in another video that I have three brands or like body art like you know like the iron rod things. I'll show them at the end just in case if anybody wants to see them again or if anybody really cares. My brand. But like I said, I have two crosses on my left shoulder and one big heart on my right shoulder. Primarily in this video, I'm going to cover three topics. The how, the why, and the what now. So without further ado, let's go. How I got them is that primarily in the United States, some branding is illegal in certain states, but not all of them. It's kind of a peculiar topic because I do know that some Christian organizations do iron brands for like fraternities or sororities, whatever. But I didn't go to that extent to get it at college. What I did was that I ended up calling a tattoo parlor and asked if they do body art or brand. They said yes. I said cool. I made my appointment and boom right off the bat I got a small left cross on my left shoulder And so I noticed that when I got mine They didn't really use like an iron rod with like a logo at the top of it like one of those like for the cows Whatever essentially what they ended up using was a cauterizer, which is essentially a pen with a burning tip That's what she said <laughs> And it's basically made to tear through flesh. A funny story real quick is that when I was getting my branding done, there was another artist who was watching me get branded, right? And basically, not only did he see me in pain, but then also as my skin was burning and the smoke was coming out, he was all like, yo man, do you eat meat? The, oh. the pick. And I was like, hey, you know what, man? I do like some fried chicken or a mean steak if you cook it right. He's like, yeah, I thought so. Most meat eaters wouldn't smell like you. I'm not kidding. And for some reason, this guy wouldn't shut up and he was like, yeah, man, vegans and non-meat eaters, they smell different. I can't make this up, but whatever, whatever, that brand ended up healing nicely. But for some reason, I felt a little like naked or off because my right shoulder didn't have anything, but my left one did. And so about a year later, I ended up getting a heart on my right shoulder, but it was a lot bigger than expected. That's what she said. That's my joke. I mean, it still came out really good, but it was just... The vanity of my youth. But because the heart was larger and the cross was smaller, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get a bigger cross. And that's exactly what I did. I ended up getting a bigger cross over the smaller one. Now here comes the why. All right, so the why I got them has a lot more to do with my insecurities as well as me growing in confidence as a Christian, as well as kind of trying to evangelize. Now I know it may sound unorthodox or kind of counterproductive to have body art and then try to preach the gospel when you look a certain way, but hear me out real quick. Basically for the majority of my youth, I always wanted a way to fit in but still stand out. In fact, that's actually one of the reasons why I even grew up my hair and got dreadlocks, which wasn't a bad look, at least in my opinion. But everything in Miami is always so dominated by culture, art, or just Latin representation of being unique and standing out. And so everybody that I used to hang out with, Christian or not, always used to have some sort of body art, like tattoos or gauges or piercings, whatever. And I wasn't even really about that life because I was always trying to please God or share the gospel. And I never once cared about judging my friends for their actions or lifestyle. Even if I didn't totally agree, I'm not one to like really point the finger. But either way, I felt just tattoos were so common. And so like I said, I wanted a way to fit in, but still stand out. And for people to look at me and be like, yo, what is that? And that included when I would do athletics and I would go shirtless or just sleeveless or go to the beach. People would see that and be like, yo, what is that? And that's technically what I really wanted. I wanted people to notice me. But most importantly, I wanted them to know that God loves them, which is why I would put my body on the line and do that. Essentially, I basically convinced myself that I would use my body as a tool to spread the gospel. At the same time, I wanted God to be proud that I wanted to spread his message. Another thing I took to heart was when I would read the Bible and I would interpret it as literal. And so in taking the Bible literally, I came across Galatians 6.17. That says, from henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Another version says, henceforth, let nobody trouble me, for I bear branded on my body the marks of Christ. And I'm like, yo, bro, that's totally me. And either way, I did what I did and I got what I wanted. What I mean by that is people would see my brands and they'll be like, yo, what is that? And that was my cue to talk about God and I loved it. I loved every second of doing that. You would think I'd be happy, but I'll tell you the truth right now. Sometimes it got me some nasty looks and I was judged, misinterpreted, prayed over. Over, or like I had mentioned earlier that I didn't fit the Christian standard but like what is the Christian standard like how does one really look as a Christian but that'll be another topic for another day so the third thing I'm gonna get into is the now what now I'm gonna go get some food not just playing but for real for real from my Christian perspective just because I don't see body art as a sin does not exempt me from being sinful or being free from all sin everyone needs the Lord needs the 
done a lot. But if you are against tattoos or have more questions about body art or piercings or just tattoos in general as a Christian, Grammy-winning Christian hip-hop artist Lecrae has a really good video about this that I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description box below. He explains it in much better detail anyways. This is simply my experience and my perspective once again. But even as far as scripture goes as your body being a temple, I kind of wanted to design it. Because in reality, I'm not like taking this body with me when I go to heaven. It's gonna turn to dust just like yours. And like I said, because I was young, I practically didn't know what I was doing. But deep down, I don't regret any one of them because they opened so many doors. Especially to those who do not believe in God but yet have these body art or have body modifications. Like when I would meet people at open mics or art events or dance events. Some of them were quite flabbergasted that me as a Christian could have what they have but don't believe in what they believe. Like essentially living a lifestyle that's opposite of theirs. Granted, I didn't go to that extreme that some did with their body art. And for real, for real, I'm definitely not bragging because mine are just like small little shoulder stuff they're not really crazy stuff you know they're just small and simple but like I said the familiarity and somehow even the camaraderie opened many doors to people who just wanted to talk about themselves or wanted to talk about God or just art in general and I talked to a bunch of creative people who didn't really have the same perspective as me like oh you have brands but are a horoscope weed smoking loving atheist person or oh wow you joined a fraternity and now are branded for life as an honorary member of that club and then I'd be like oh I'm Christian I have brands too let's talk about it but aside from all the insults and stereotypes of people with brands or whatnot i'm definitely not saying get body art to preach to body art enthusiasts you don't have to do that scripture does mention to become all things to all people to preach the gospel or it advises to do something similar to that but everybody has their own perspective of that like i said i already learned my lesson from all of this i don't plan on getting any more maybe but for real it was such a blessing to talk to others who felt that nobody could relate to them but i could and overall, Jesus has shown me a great deal of humility because of that. It even allowed me to be disciplined and accept humbleness, and even grow in that confidence that I always wanted. And like high key, that confidence does not come in what I can do, but what Jesus can do through me. And to an even further extent, what Jesus has already done, such as die for everybody. I mean, come on, I don't have to spoon feed people verses left and right. And I definitely don't need to be extra or go looking for attention just to preach the gospel. That's not the point. And if body art comes up, I really hope Christians don't judge other people for what they did in the past. Because I genuinely don't believe body art is wrong i really don't because at the end of the day i'm also just a man and i am most definitely not the standard like let's be real just because you're not taking this flesh with you when you die doesn't mean you shouldn't take care of it i hope we can look at humankind with the genuineness and lovingness that christ would look at them we don't know everybody's journey so we can't critique them based on how they look so if you have body art and you come across this video christian or not i really hope you can get the deep message that christ is going to love you regardless of what you look or what you may have done in the past there's a reason scripture says come as you are not go finish your Starbucks, then come. Not go finish your Bible study, then come. Not go finish your 401k, then come. It says come as you are. And if you got body art, feel free to reach me in any one of my social media platforms. I really won't be freaked out by it because I got some too. So the now what basically concludes with how are we behaving as Christians to make others feel welcomed? So you want to know how I got these scars? Life. Because like I said, God fully wants you to go to him because I promise you, he is waiting for you. Other than that, be good to each other and yourselves and most importantly stay blessed oh that's right i was going to show you my body art so just prepare yourselves it's not crazy i've shown it before in another video but my left arm has a cross right here i don't know if you can see it there's like goes there and then it comes down all the way here and the reason this part is bumpy is because the deeper the, the deeper the wound the higher the scar so this is my burn on my left and then this is the heart on my right it barely tell because the light whatever but it's it's there it's there i might even get one i might even get a small one inside the bigger one maybe listo adios mi gente bendiciones